What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. You tuned into another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. You know, I'm all about the positivity and motivation. Also, support my Patreon. You know, over there, I could be raw and cut. The link's in the description. And I dropped those freaky tales over there. So, check it out. Support. I appreciate you, man. But I just want to say, um, homie should have just brought their pillow, man. And uh, when I say a homie should have brought his pillow, you know, he talking all that high powered game about the Draco and the Tech 9 and the 9 and, you know, the 50 cal and all this stuff, man. And at the end of the day, when they get you up in court, bring your pillow. Could you go in night night? You know, most of these guys have never read a law book. They don't know the statutes. They don't know the ramifications of what happens when you have to deal with uh, actually going to trial. They don't know their Bill of Rights. They don't know the Speedy Trial Act. They don't know anything to do with the law. But when they was out there pumping that Draco, pumping that nine millimeter or whatever other high powered caliber weapon they were talking about, trying to emulate those guys they heard in those rap songs, they just basically signed away uh, a bed space to go night night. And they're gonna go night night for a long time sitting up in themselves. And I'll tell you, I've seen it. You guys in there 20, 30 years, and they're hoping that the laws are gonna change so they can get out early. Not one time have they been to the law library. It's a program, it's a program. You know, the lawyer is human like you, but yet, you put all your faith in this lawyer to get you off a case that you put yourself in. And most of the lawyers are looking at you like you're a piece of shit. You, you, know, you, you murdered somebody. You took somebody's life. And the family of the victims are there. The witnesses are there. Hey, man, you know, whatever accolades you thought you had from the street for being a G, nobody cares in court. They look at you like the devil. You're the lowest of the low. And I say that because a lot of you youngsters, if you put the same amount of time into whatever harm you want to do to somebody, into reading, into studying, into being an intellectual, man, you could run the world. You know, you focus on the wrong stuff. You talk about, oh, man, um, you know, this is happening in the community and oh man I, I i hate these people because of this but yet you're running around ready to kill somebody for a little bit of nothing and then go on the run and then when you get caught you get upset because you didn't feel like you deserved all the time and then you just go work in a factory so now you're slave labor why would you want to go to prison and be slave labor why not work on getting a degree or being self-sufficient out here, you know, learning a trade and doing something constructive so you can be your own boss, be an entrepreneur. Once you squeeze that trigger, man, and you take somebody's life, it's not like it just goes away. That person had a family. You know, these guys, they talk as though, you know, you got your goons, you got the killers in the crowd, you got this and that. Don't nobody want to do time for you, man. Don't nobody want to sit up in a cell for the rest of their life while you out here partying and they realize that they did this and it, and it means nothing? So think about the big scope of the game. For one, you're talking about going night-night for a long time. Laying up in that hard bunk with another dude farting, burping, shitting in there with you, sharing a, a, little, a little bathroom with possibly three people maybe four if they want to crowd you up in there or being in a warm uh, house with, a, with your family, with fresh cooking in the in morning with your wife or your girlfriend, laying next to a woman. I mean, is that trade-off worth it? And then you know, you, you go into a court, you look around, you keep looking at your attorney, what does that mean? Oh, what does that mean? Yeah, I understand, yeah. You look like a straight dummy. I've been there, I know. You look around, I started reading. You know, my attorney got mad because I, I gave back two years at sentencing. You know, and, and she was pissed that I even had the nerve. She's like, how dare you look at a law book? 
Who told you to go research that? Who told me? Bitch, I'm not a dummy. You know, I was dumb for committing the crime that got me in here, but I'm not a dummy as far as knowing how to how to read and educate myself. And a lot of you guys aren't dummies, but you guys you put yourself in a dumb situation and then wonder why the system is the way it is. You say, oh, man, it's slavery. No, it's, it's slavery when you allow your mind to be enslaved and you're doing dumb stuff, running around here, ready to kill somebody, packing a pistol, thinking that you, you're, you're, you're accumulating a rep, you know, and all you guys want to have all your murders on IG and, and, and social media to let people know you're a killer or you want to try to talk about it afterwards or just, you know, talk about it beforehand. And the bottom line is, it's for nothing, man. It's for likes. It's for it's for views. I mean, really, man, I, is, that's what it's about? I mean, damn, I, I, you know, at the end of the day, is all that worth it to be sitting up in a cell and, and, you know, talking about what you used to do walking the yard with a bunch of other men smelling nutsacks, nutsacks and butts? I'm just telling you, man, it's a horrible place. It's a horrible situation. And you're, you're bringing a pillow to a pistol fight, you know, to a, to a bazooka fight, to a missile fight, because the laws is, is, is so crazy. And you guys have no idea. You never read it. You don't even know what the statute is. You don't know what a penal code is. You don't know what it means to shepherdize. You don't know what a habeas corpus is. You don't know what the Black's Law Dictionary is. If you don't know what any of these things are, go put down your gun, you know, go get registered to get it legally and go to school and educate yourself because you're bringing a pillow to a knife fight. You know, not even a knife, I'm sorry, uh, uh, like I said, a bazooka, a missile fight because these people got something for you and they're building warehouses. And I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to get you up out of that situation before you make the mistakes, I'm telling you. In your 20s, you might think it's cool. Your first eight, nine years, you got a little broad coming to see you. You think you're the man because you spend eight hours in visiting with a creased up outfit to go sit down and hold your kid, talk to your girl or your mom, and then go back to a cell and talk about what you ate out of a vending machine. A, 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 a damn vending machine, man. Like that's something to be happy about when your people had to travel almost a day to get to where you're at because all the prisons are in the middle of nowhere. You guys, I'm trying to wake you up, man. I'm trying to lace you up. Ain't nobody on YouTube trying to do it like this. None of those guys are telling war stories. They're telling all this stuff that they used to do and they're bragging about it. And ain't nothing to brag about, man, because those places are horrible. Those are dungeons they got waiting for you. And the people running those places, they don't care about you. They, they treat you with no respect. None. They tell you to get over here against the wall. They're going to grab your butt, your nutsack. Do you want another man grabbing your butt and nutsack every day? You want somebody always shaking? You want somebody looking in your butthole? Come on, man. I'm trying to tell you it's a horrible. I've seen every facet of it. Juvenile Hall, CYA, Federal Pen. And, you know, it wasn't until I finally got to the feds, I started reading up on the law and my rights and the history and the the the... The, the just legalities of things. And I'm like, man, I've been played. So before you get played, listen to Big Herc, man. Go get you a book, put down the gun, wisen up, you know, or else you're going to be going night-night for a long time in one of those old bathrooms with cement walls. Big Herc 916.